Hormones of the Menstrual Cycle by kscience.com. This video is about how hormones control the menstrual cycle in females. I've drawn the pituitary gland beneath the brain, and this is the female reproductive system, including the ovaries, the uterus, the oviduct, the cervix, and the vagina. So we're going to start off with FSH. FSH is produced in the pituitary gland and it goes to the ovaries. FSH goes to the ovaries where it causes the egg follicle to grow and mature. FSH causes the egg follicle to grow and mature. So FSH causes the egg follicle to grow and mature. To grow and mature. Next what happens is that the egg follicles start to produce estrogen. The green lines show estrogen being secreted by the egg follicle. So estrogen does two things. It firstly goes to the uterus. So estrogen produced by the egg follicles goes from the egg follicle to the uterus where the estrogen causes the uterus lining to thicken with blood. So it causes the uterus lining to thicken with blood. Estrogen also does something else. It goes to the pituitary gland from the egg follicle where it stops FSH production and initiates LH production from the pituitary gland. So FSH is stopped as the egg follicle has now grown and matured. So now the pituitary gland secretes LH. LH. LH is secreted by the pituitary gland and this causes ovulation. So this stimulates ovulation in the ovaries. So remember this, this is the one thing LH does. It stimulates ovulation, which is the release of an egg from the egg follicle. So LH stimulates the release of an egg from the egg follicle. This is called ovulation. I'm now showing you the release of the egg from the egg follicle into the oviduct. So the egg is now being released into the oviduct. This is called ovulation. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So after ovulation, the egg follicle turns into the corpus luteum. So the egg follicle turns into the corpus luteum. The corpus luteum in the ovary produces progesterone. So it produces progesterone. This is indicated by the black line and it goes to the uterus lining. So the corpus luteum produces progesterone. So what progesterone does is it maintains the uterus lining. So if you've got progesterone levels that are high, that means the uterus lining is maintained. So progesterone, what that does is it maintains, it maintains the uterus lining. And if the woman is pregnant, if the woman is pregnant, the progesterone levels stay high. This is to maintain the uterus lining so the woman does not menstruate while pregnant, therefore losing the embryo that would have been embedded on the uterus lining. If she's not pregnant, so if she is not pregnant, what happens is progesterone levels fall. So the progesterone levels are going to fall if she's not pregnant and an egg has not been fertilized. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. If the uterus lining is not maintained, the woman will lose her uterus lining as it will break down. 
and she will menstruate. So when progesterone levels fall, menstruation occurs. Menstruation is the loss of blood. So menstruation is the loss of blood lining from the uterus out of the vagina. Lower levels of progesterone, they going to then stimulate. So low levels of progesterone stimulate FSH production. So it stimulates FSH production and the menstrual cycle starts again. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.